Good morning. And welcome to Winnipeg. Now, I gotta tell you, I did not come back to the model table last night. I thought I might. I spent most of my time in the back room. And uh, rather than tell you what I did, I think what we should do is drag the camera into the back there and I'll show you how I got my air intake rigged up on, above the lathe. And uh, I actually tried it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, let's, let's not uh, waste a lot of time talking about the lathe when we're up here. Let's talk about it when we're in the back. But as long as we're up here, uh, I was wondering about these little parts that, that I'm going to be trying to put on, that, like these little angle brackets, little braces that have to go underneath these things. Uh, and I was thinking it, it might do well, and I don't know, I'm going to try it, but if I was to, to tilt this at the right angle so that the, the little, you know what, I should put the macro lens on because you don't have a clue what I'm talking about. And I'm beginning to wonder myself. In the, in the meantime, let's, uh, let's just recompose and uh, we'll, we'll go in the back room. Okay, I realized that I had said we'll go into the back room, but uh, it's a lot easier to show you this on this model table uh, what I did yesterday, and, or last night rather, instead of working on my model ship that like I should have been doing. And what I had done several years ago is I had already glued the brass tubes in some, uh, in some uh, pieces of wood here, and uh, so they were quite, quite ready to go, you might say. And uh, so I slipped them on the, on the, in the lathe and I turned them down and, and these pieces here used to look, uh, or rather these pieces here, let me zoom in a bit. Okay. These pieces here used to look exactly like this. Uh, and, uh, kind of what you want to do is envision these pieces stuck in this, you might call it hardware. And, uh, yeah, you, that's what you'd end up with. Uh, okay, now let's go into the back room. Okay, here we are with a wide view. And I don't mean me. Okay. Uh, the area to take is right here. And I, and I will move you in a little closer in a moment. But I just want you to get the general perspective. The area to take is right here. The hose goes around. And down into the into the uh, vacuum system here and and I know that I probably could have had it a little bit neater by shortening the hose except that what if I need a long hose later on and then, then I've got the hose cut too short so when I gotta try and splice it together not that I can't do that it's just that it's uh, anyway uh, Okay, I had to wait until it coasted to a stop because it's so noisy it drowns out my voice and, and you, you, you know that what I have to say is extremely important, right? Okay, it's quit. <laughs> it gave its last little squeak there. Um, okay, let's, let's uh, recompose here a little bit and uh, have a, a better look at my... Uh... Well, I don't think we want that on. Okay, let's recompose. Okay, I put a piece of wood on the mandrel, very similar to what you saw um, up there on the on the model table. And uh, the idea is that when I'm turning this, as they say, turning it down, uh, the chips are going to go flying. Normally, they would they would fly out generally more or less sort of straight up, but but what's happening is right now that the air is going in here so fast that they are getting sucked up this hose and uh, 
it works extremely well. In fact, I can honestly say it worked, it works better than I had hoped it would, if that's possible. Uh, there, there, there was just no sawdust, no chips, no nothing anywhere, you know, on, on the bed or the lathe or anything like, like, I know maybe you can see something there, but, but that's from when I, that's from when I turned down that, uh, sprue pen blank, uh, the practice one. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it just works really, really, really well. Um, I, I'm very pleased with this system. The only thing that is bad about it is right now it is only good for for uh, turning down pens. Uh, if I want to do uh, like a bowl or anything like that, it's it's useless. It's in the road. It'd have to be redesigned. But uh, right now I'm only in thinking about doing pens. I, I have no desire to do bowls. Okay, enough about the back room. Uh, let's get back to the model table. Okay, here's the plan. And it's really hard to have everything just right. In other words, to have this set so that it's at an angle so that gravity can be our friend here a little bit, I'm hoping. Now this is the first time I'm doing this, so it, it may not work out. Uh, and you can sort of see it, and yet I can see what I'm doing here more or less real good. Um, okay. We'll get you zoomed in here, reasonably close. Okay, now the area in question is right there, right where my tweezers are. And what I want to do is try and get one of these little pieces here and try not to drop it on the floor. Okay. Whoops. Oh, that was close. Okay. Okay, now if I get the... There's a little... There's a couple of little holes here. I just gotta hunker myself in here just a little bit. Okay, we'll, we'll put it in the furthest hole first. Now I just want to see how, how it wants to sort of fit. Now, it, it probably won't stay there all by itself. Well, make a liar out of me. Okay, this is going to work. Okay, let's uh, let's get a little bit of of CA thin on the end of this part right here. Um, just bear with me. Now I don't want, you know, I don't want too much because. If there's too much, it's going to start to dissolve everything. Okay, let's see if we can get that in there again. Now, it is almost straight, but not quite. Okay. Now, that's probably going to work here. i just got to move it a little bit away from you. Um, all right. You know what? Maybe I should have done the other one first. Because now how am I going to get in there? Well, let's uh, give it a whirl here. And uh, California Paul, you were mentioning about how, you know, you're having a problem with these, these things too. California Paul is doing this exact same thing. He's probably got it done already. He just doesn't want to make me feel bad by saying, oh, it was easy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wait, did I not get any? I did that time. Okay, now can I get that down in there without knocking over the first one? It's not quite straight. 
I'm, I'm sorry I don't have the macro lens on for you, but I think you should be able to see what's happening here. I'm going to just pull it back just a little bit here. So what I want ha what I want to happen now is for when this when this dries, that's pretty good. Just got okay. Yeah, that that's pretty good. Now I think that that later on when we set the gun tub on there, it, it's going to have less of a chance to want to fall in. If you know what I mean. Okay, let me uh, zoom you back here. I'm pleased with that. It it actually went better than I thought it was going to. Uh, if it didn't, I'd have showed you anyway. Okay, now let's try not to knock it, knock them off. I mean, that, that's so fragile right now that even catching some easy line on it. Okay, I'm going to do the other side exactly the same way, off camera. Okay, while we are waiting for our little brackets here now to get to the place where I feel it's going to be safe to have it support the weight of these, uh, I keep wanting to call them gun tubs. Uh, anyway, we sh probably are safe to put these ones on. You can see on the bottom they're going to be a lot easier to put on because they've got a positioning peg and it just has to do they go that way or the other way? Oh, where's the manual again? Yep. I knew yesterday. Okay, they, uh, okay, they face out. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, they face out. Let's, let's just zoom you in here a little bit here. Alright, get this turned around. Yeah, that, that should go okay. It may not dry fit too good. I might have to sort of, uh, it kind of wants to fit. Okay, and the other one's going to go, obviously, in the other place. Okay. I would like to just make sure that they fit before I start fighting with the uh, extra thin here. Now it's stuck in there. There must be something on the tweezer. Okay, let's uh, <clears throat> let's just put this like this. And we'll turn this one around. Okay, and we don't want to accidentally try and put these ones on. Oh, we'll do that one first. Where's my other glasses here? It almost appears like it <clears throat> is supposed to be sitting up a bit, but I don't think so. Let me see, what's on the bottom of this? Oh yeah, there is. It is supposed to be sitting up a bit. All right. Maybe I could just use my fingers. Okay, does that look straight? It looks straight to me. Okay. Now, I've had another thought here. Uh, we've got to drop parts down in, inside of each one of these, right? Now, I'm wondering if maybe for these ones here, it might be a good idea to find out what it is that is supposed to go in them. Put put it in now, instead of after I've got this piece sitting on top of on, on top of here, and I'm trying to, you know, wiggle it down, and it's, it's not going to add very much to the, to the weight of the thing. Yeah, I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find out what it is that has to go in here, 
and here and uh, we'll do that first. Now here is something that I think is kind of funny. Um, so why am I not laughing? Well, because it's not that kind of funny. Um, see these, these ones right here, they don't have anything going down underneath them to support them. Now maybe they, they maybe they, uh, yeah, on the real ship there was, you know, different kind of brackets and what trumpeter molded in here. Whereas these ones, of course, they do have the brackets. Now I found out what it is that has to go down into each one of these six. Uh, I know they're not gun tubs. Remember when we made these things? They were, they were the uh, little pieces that I was having difficulty putting the photo etch on and uh, so I didn't bother. <laughs> well, we're going to be using them now, at least six of them. Okay, now we'll hydrate the peg on this thing and we'll do one of the easy ones. Now, it appears that there's like a high side and a low side to that part that I'm gripping onto. Now, as near as I can tell from the manual, the high side goes towards the flat side of the gun tub, which isn't a gun tub. Now, if these things are not dead straight, I mean, it, or that is which way they're pointing this way, it doesn't really matter because I'm sure that they the entire thing rotated around. It wouldn't be fixed. So, all right, so that went good. Where's another one? Oh, I'll just do a couple of these on camera. There we go. All right, now as for these ones here, we'll just do it the same way, only they won't be on anything. I suppose I could do this one on camera. Get ourselves another one here. Grab hold of it. Okay, the high side is to my right. That looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit crooked though, isn't it? Let's see if we can twist it a bit. Maybe I could twist it with my finger here. There. Yeah, that'll be all right. Okay, I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, the F-23s, which are still on Chris's alligator clips. Yeah, they're the ones that had what I was saying uh, looked like street lights on, mounted on them. Well, obviously they, they are controls. Now, they are going to... They're going to be going, plug, they're going to plug you into holes that are right there. And as near as I can tell, the street lights are facing in so that I should really have you zoomed in a little bit, but I don't. It looks like if somebody was standing on one of these decks, there it stays there all by itself. If somebody was standing right there, they'd be able to reach those controls. At least that's what I think it is. They're probably push buttons. <laughs> like, uh, you know.
Okay, I'm going to put the other one on the other side the same way. Okay, Captain, I'm here. Now, which one is it that I press for surrender again? Okay, now, if you will remember, these two are not the same. They, they were the same number on the photo etch fret, but they are not, they are not the same. Uh, this one here, you can see the grating a little bit better. Yeah, the... Uh, yeah, you, you can just see it better. Um, and it's not because I, you know, painted it, you know, this one here a lot heavy, more heavily or anything like that. It's just that that's the way it was formed. And I am thinking that this one here that we can see the best should be on the other side. And the reason being is because we will we will be looking at the other side. In other words... The bow is that way. So this one here we'll put on the side that we're not going to see. And you can see there's a couple of positioning pegs there. Maybe I should move you in. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah, you can see the positioning pegs there. They go in those two holes right beside this thing that we just uh, glued in. Now can I... Should I do a dry run here? I don't think it matters which way is up, they're both the same. I might have to, you know, re-angle re myself. I'm in a sort of an awkward position here. Now, I don't want to scratch this. I don't want to scratch this. This, this probably is not going to just fall into place. Maybe I should be using Mr. Uh, T's poking device. Where is it? Less chance of it scratching. That's not working either. You know what? I'm going to have to recompose here, folks. Okay, if I remember to insert the snapshots into today's episode, you will see that I'm once again trying to let gravity be our friend here, so this, this thing will have a tendency to sort of lean back. And what I think I'm going to try to do, I'm just going to stand this off to the side a little bit here. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, now you can see the holes. Now, whoops, the lid is not coming off. Okay, it's off now. Now, let's not put on too much, just, just a little bit here. That's probably all we need. It's not really in the holes though, is it? Now let's try and get our our part now i'm I'm looking down from above and I can sort of see where the where the pins are uh, where's Mr. T's poking device here? I'll just shove this back there. Let's not mess with that. Let's just leave it. It's it's going to uh, it's not going to be coming off. I'm going to do the other side the same way. Okay, what we are looking at right here is the first of those brackets that we put on, and I'm noticing it's it's not as straight as I would like. Actually, this, this other one over here is better. But let's just see what's going to happen here now when we drop our optical unit on top here. Is it going to 
Want to slump badly to one side or the other? Whoops. I may have to do this off camera. Okay, the plan will be, let me see if I can put some Tamiya thick or something thick on the top of each one of these. I'm wondering if I should maybe rehydrate this one right here and see if I can bend it back. So that means we're not going to be putting these on today because it's getting late already. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, extra thin down here in this joint and see if I can just push this back just a little bit here. Now this, this other one I think is going to be okay. But we'll, we'll deal with that in the next episode. So thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>